Hi everyone, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's brand new vlog. In today's vlog, I'm going to share with you one of my most favorite recipes. It is the best kebabs that you can ever actually eat. Um, it is mostly made, 99% of Asians make it in Ramadan. Without it, um, the Ramadan, the Sakhan is incomplete. It's also the life of every single Dawud. Wherever we invite someone over for a Dawud, like a dinner, um, we definitely make sure that this kebab is on the menu. It is one of the most famous um, street food burgers um, that you can actually buy as well in India, in Pakistan. So the recipe that I am talking about is Shami kebab. And I'm gonna actually make it with chicken. Normally you can make it with beef and lamb, but with chicken it's much lighter and um, it's much tastier. So come with me and see how I make my chicken shami kebab. Also, if you watch the video till the end, I will also show you how to make the most delicious burgers out of this shami kebab. So now let's go towards the ingredients. So the ingredients that we need for our shami kebab, chicken shami kebab, I have one kilogram of chicken breast here, which I have roughly chopped into cubes because I don't want mashed shami kebab. I actually want some chunks of chicken inside it. So the best way to do is leave your chicken as chunky as possible. Now you can also use bone chicken. You can also use boneless fillets. It's entirely up to you. You can also make the same recipe with beef and lamb shami kebab as well. So you can use beef and lamb instead of chicken. And now for the spices, I have chaat masala, haldi powder, which is turmeric powder, salt, paprika powder, red chili powder, whole garam masala, uh, which I've actually crushed into in a grinder, coffee grinder. I have tandoori masala, I have two tablespoons of grated ginger, two tablespoons of grated garlic, I have three jalapeno chilies. Now you guys can use as much chilies as, as you want to, or you can opt out of it. I've also got one large size uh, Spanish onion, which I've roughly chopped, and I have a handful of uh, mint and a handful of coriander leaves. The reason why I'm saying roughly chopped is because once our chicken and our lentils are cooked, we need to actually um, blend it in a food processor. So that's why I'm saying just to save time, just roughly chop it. We're gonna throw everything in the cooker and once our chicken and lentils are done, we're just gonna put everything in a food processor and blend it. So now in our pressure cooker, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the one medium size onion, also, ginger and garlic, shredded ginger and garlic, two, two tablespoons each. Also, uh, one kilogram of boneless chicken. Now I'm gonna wash the dal. Now in goes the spices. So one tablespoon tandoori masala, one tablespoon red chili powder, half a tablespoon paprika powder, one tablespoon turmeric powder, and half a tablespoon of salt. Always add salt according to your taste and requirement. And I'm also going to add half a tablespoon of garam masala and we are actually going to taste the spice level once it's cooked and if we need to add in more spices we'll add it in at that time. Now I'm going to add in some water and now I have added in 10 ounces of water. We're going to Mix all this together. Now roughly we need to cook this for about eight minutes and until, 
on full high flame and after eight minutes it should be cooked so i will see you guys after eight minutes so exactly after eight minutes i've taken the lid off and there is no water left inside which is very good so our shami kebab masala is totally dry so as you can see there's no water or gravy at all it's 100 percent dry this is exactly what i want if we have any gravy or water left then when we're going to put this in the blend but in the blender in the fruit processor it's going to be a runny type of um mixture and we don't want that um my chicken is fully cooked the lentils are done and now we can add it in the fruit processor now there's a myth that some people say that you shouldn't add hot hot food items in a fruit processor otherwise a fruit processor will break like i said that's a myth i've actually used a plastic one i use a monilex brand fruit processor and i actually put all my hot ingredients inside it um exactly when you're cooking you don't have time to wait for items to cool down and then you're blending it so um let's go ahead and um, blend all this mixture into a mixture so now in the fruit processor what I am going to do is I'm going to add in half the mixture because it's a lot so half of the mixture goes in now and with that mixture we're going to add in all the rest of the quantity of the ingredients that we have left so in that a bunch of coriander goes a bunch of mint two full-size jalapeno chilies and I am also going to add in half a tablespoon of garam masala and one tablespoon of chaat masala and now I'm going to actually blend it pour in the bowl and then we'll do the other batch as well So now my shami kebab mixture is fully um, done. It's exactly as the same texture as I wanted. It's um, easily handable. So once it's cooled down, I can easily make um, shami kebab out of them. Uh, it's not sloppy. It's um, not very thick, not very thin. Now I actually blended these in two batches. So half went in first and then I put half afterwards. Now, one thing I want to mention, when I first started to make shami kebabs, especially chicken shami kebabs, um, when I put the first batch in, normally in the first batch we put a chicken. Chicken goes in first and less dal goes in, less yellow split lentils goes in. And it wouldn't just, it was so dry. When I took my first batch out, I was like, oh my God, this is so dry and it's not properly blended and um, I don't know how will I make about out of it and I got worried. But don't worry because the second batch that goes in, that's actually of the whole lentils. So that will become a bit sloppy and then you have the dry. So the sloppy and dry mix together, you get the perfect um, mixture. Now, if for some reason you still are worried and you don't know what to do, don't panic because if you panic, you're going to ruin the food. Just add in one egg. So when the chicken uh, is actually blending in the fruit processor, if it's not blending, it's not getting smooth, just crack in one egg, that's it. Do not add water, do not add water at all because that will actually ruin everything. Um, because we can actually freeze our shami kebabs up to two to three months in the freezer as well. If water goes in, that's it, you're gonna ruin it. So if you are panicking that they're not done or something's wrong or the, even if you put the dal in, the mixture is still not uh, soft or easily uh, manageable or is sloppy just cracking one egg that will actually bind everything together and that's it as you can see mine is already binded now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to actually let this rest in the refrigerator about 10 to 20 minutes then I'm going to start shaping my shami kebab so down here what I'm going to do I've got three eggs and we need to dip our shami kebabs in the egg and then fry it now, one thing I forgot to mention is that when your mixture is ready, please taste it. It's fully cooked, so there's no harm in tasting it. Taste it. If everything is according to your spice, the salt, the spices levels are absolutely fine. That's fine. If it's not, then please add it in now. 
Now is the time to add it in. Now down here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a pinch of chili flakes and a pinch of red chili powder. You don't have to do that, that is not necessary, but I love my shabby kebab to be a spicy. Because the mixture is spicy, that's fine, but the coating, if it uh, hasn't got any spice in, then I don't like it. So this is also something for anyone who's a spicy lover. If you want to have spicy food, um, then definitely um, add spices, whatever you want to, black pepper powder, red chili flakes, red chili powder, paprika, anything, um, add into your egg. So whilst our shami kebab mixture is cooling down, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with my shami kebabs. Now you can make them simple, plain, that's fine. And you can eat them like that with some dips of sauce, or you can eat them with a boiled rice, or you can eat them with salad. There's many options for you guys. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a shami kebab burger for my children. This is a way that I can get my children to eat this and um, it's also good for picnics, good for parties, barbecues, um, pack lunches for school, you you name it and it's good for it. So, um, and also Shami Kebab Burger is a very, very famous uh, street food in India, in Pakistan. Believe me, it's absolutely delicious. So what I've done, I've got my favorite vegetables and salads. You guys can use anything you want to, or you guys can use this. So what I've done, I've got white cabbage, which I have finely sliced into chilean slices. I have red cabbage and I've done exactly the same. I have red onion and I've actually sliced them finely. Down here I have iceberg lettuce and I've done exactly the same to the iceberg lettuce. And underneath I have some cucumbers and I've done exactly the same. Finely julienne sliced all them. Now what I'm gonna do Is that first of all I'm gonna add some spices to it so I'm gonna season it with salt so half a teaspoon of salt that is enough you guys can use black pepper powder I'm gonna opt for chili flakes so half a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of chili flakes is what I'm opting for and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some mayonnaise so about one first of all I'm gonna add two tablespoons of mayonnaise we don't want to actually drown it in mayonnaise. No, that's not a healthy option at all. What we want to do is just coat it in mayonnaise. That's why I have only added two tablespoons and I think so I will be okay with two tablespoons. All I want is a coat, coat the vegetables and the salad. Yeah, that is enough. So now what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be used as a topping for my burgers. You can not, may normally make this and you can add chicken tikka inside it or you can just get some portion of this, which I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna get a portion of this uh, coleslaw salad type thing and I'm gonna actually just put two shabby kebabs on top of it and eat it like that. But um, I'm gonna make something different for my children. So that is enough, two tablespoons. I've caught it all of this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the side and we're going to get our shami kebab mixture out and we're going to start frying our shami kebab now I'm opting for a healthy version I'm going to fry them in olive oil you guys can use olive oil or you guys can actually use any oil you want to one more thing I wanted to mention if you guys any of you want to are losing weight or trying to lose weight or um, thinking about losing weight then shami kebab chicken shami kebab is a very healthy option for you guys to use in your daily routine to you lose weight you can actually like I said eat it with salad you can eat it with some boiled rice you can even put in a pita bread I would recommend that you do a homemade pita bread I have done a um, vlog on homemade pita bread I w I'm actually gonna make another Turkish shawarma that's going to be an upcoming recipe and I will actually make homemade pita bread in that. Um, you can actually put shami kebab in that and that is um, one of your meals ready for you if you guys are thinking about losing weight. So down here I have a square griddle pan that I'm using. Um, you can get more of these, more shami kebabs into it. And I have actually um, used a little bit of olive oil 
and down here I've got my oils greased with olive oil sorry and down here I have my hands greased with olive oil it's been a long day and now I've got some of the mixture in my hand I'm gonna make a round ball out of it this is a round ball and then just press it down with your fingers and you can see we're forming some cracks don't worry about that you just hold on to it and then just turn it around on your fingers like this or you can do it on your palm just make a wheel out of it around around and that's it our shami kebab is ready now if you want to freeze them you can just line them up in the tray put some parchment paper on the bottom of the tray line them up then put a parchment paper as a divider line them up and at the end put parchment paper and plastic wrap cling film wrap it with that airtight keep it in the uh, freezer you can actually store them up for a good three months now down here i have my egg which is spiced up and what i'm going to do is i'm going to dip this in the egg like this pick it up let the excess egg drop and then just put it down basically these are cooked so what we're going to do is just one to two minutes on each side um, on a medium heat and that's it it's all done if you're having any dinner parties any guests coming over these are also very good you can make them early in the morning and leave them in the fridge so you don't have to freeze them and the cooking time will be less uh, sorry frying time will be less or you can make them night before again put them in the, in the refrigerator and you can fry them just before you serve dinner Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the last one in and then I'm going to turn the gas to full. Just going to wash my hands. Get any type of flat spatula and turn them over. So basically, this is a colour that we are looking for for our shami kebab. Once you get this colour, that means your shami kebab is ready from that side. If you get it from both the sides, then that's it, your shami kebab is ready. Once they're made, take them out on the kitchen towel or a tea towel, let any excess oil drain off and then just serve them. So now I'm going to carry on making the rest and I will see you guys um, at the final look. So guys, this is the final look of my chicken shami kebabs. And as you can see, it was so quick, so easy to make it in your comfort of our own homes and believe me, they're absolutely yummy. This is one of my favourite foods, these are the best street food you can find in the streets of Pakistan and India and believe me they are absolutely yummy so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a burger out of these shami kebab so now I'll show you how to make a shami kebab burger or a bun kebab burger And this is the final look of the shami kebab burger or what they say in India bun kebab burger so now I'm going to enjoy my kebab and my shami kebabs and I hope that you guys will go and make yours and enjoy yours if you like today's recipe if you like today's vlog then please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel share my channel until my next recipe take care bye